Ethan had always admired engineering feats, so when he flies his drone over a dam, he can't help but be in awe of it. Five minutes later, he makes a shocking discovery. Ethan Mitchell had been fascinated by the power and grandeur of dams for as long as he could remember. Something was awe-inspiring about the massive structures holding back tons of water, commanding both fear and respect. So on a bright Saturday morning, he packed his drone into his gear bag and drove a few hours to one of the tallest dams in the country. It was a marvel of modern engineering. It was his first time visiting the dam, and he was eager to capture its scale and beauty from a unique aerial perspective. Little did he know that he was about to make a shocking discovery. Arriving just as the sun began to climb higher in the sky, Ethan parked his car at a viewpoint overlooking the dam. The air was crisp with a slight breeze that carried the earthy scent of pine trees. Below him, the dam stretched like a concrete monolith, separating the tranquil reservoir from the rushing river below. Ethan marveled at the scene for a few moments, but his excitement for launching his drone quickly took over. His wife didn't understand his fascination, but she supported him in it. He could never quite find the words to describe how in awe of the engineering he was, or how he marveled at the way they could hold back tons of water, protecting communities from flooding or providing hydropower. He'd always been somewhat of an engineering geek, and dams were his main focus. This one had to be up there with one of the most impressive he'd ever seen. He found a flat clearing nearby, unpacked his equipment, and powered up his state-of-the-art drone the one he'd bought specifically for adventures like this. It had cost him months of saving and a few well-placed arguments with his wife, but in the end he'd convinced her it was worth the investment for moments like this. In truth, she didn't quite understand the thrill of it, but she respected his passion and knew how much it meant to him. The device whirred to life, its propeller spinning faster until it lifted gracefully into the air. Ethan adjusted his controller and guided the drone over the dam, the camera transmitting a crystal clear feed to his tablet. The view was breathtaking, the shimmering blue reservoir on one side, the dense forest hugging the river on the other, and the massive concrete wall in between. He couldn't pull his eyes away from the images. It was a stunning sight and he wondered to himself why it had taken him so long to come out here. Ethan spent the first few minutes recording sweeping shots of the dam, zooming in on the details of its construction and making mental notes of things he'd seen before on other dams and things that were unique to this construction. As he maneuvered the drone closer to the middle of the reservoir, something unusual caught his eye on the live feed. It was a small barge floating near the dam's spillway. There was nothing inherently strange about it, given that barges and boats traveled on waterways all the time, except that the barge seemed abandoned. No workers were visible and it wasn't moving. Ethan thought it was odd, but he shrugged it off, assuming it might be part of ongoing maintenance work. He assumed it wasn't a recreational boat either, given its location and the fact that no one was around. Curiosity tugged at him, and he decided to fly the drone lower for a closer look. The drone descended smoothly, the camera focusing on the barge's weathered deck. It was a very old boat, one that looked in need of some maintenance. It was nothing like the well-cared-for vessels he was used to seeing. Suddenly, Ethan noticed something unusual. A set of large, heavy crates, secured with ropes, littered the barge. His heart quickened. The crates looked hastily placed, as though someone had dumped them there in a hurry either eager to get rid of them or eager not to be seen leaving them behind. A sinking feeling crept into his chest. Why would anyone leave such valuable-looking cargo unattended on a barge so close to the dam? It just didn't make sense, and suddenly something didn't quite feel right. Ethan flew the drone around the barge, hoping to find some more clues as to what the cargo was or who might have abandoned it. He angled the camera to capture every detail, not wanting to miss anything. Any small anomaly could be a clue, and although he wasn't sure why at the moment, it felt important to gather every detail that he could. He zoomed in on the crates, trying to decipher any markings or labels, but they were blank. The eerie silence of the barge, combined with the mysterious cargo, set his mind racing. He decided to fly the drone over the spillway to see if there was anything else unusual. As the drone hovered over the edge of the dam, 
Ethan spotted something even more alarming. A metal grate that should have been securely bolted over one of the spillway channels was slightly ajar, as if someone had forced it open. The opening was just wide enough for a person to slip through. Ethan's hands tightened on the controller. This wasn't just strange, it was downright suspicious. He glanced around, but there wasn't anyone else in sight. However, he had a very uneasy feeling now, but he continued with the investigation. Five minutes later, Ethan made a shocking discovery that made his blood run cold. The drone's camera picked up movement below the water's surface near the barge. At first, it looked like ripples caused by the wind, but the pattern was too deliberate. Ethan adjusted the drone's position for a better view. Then he saw it. A faint, shadowy figure moving under the water. It was large. Much larger than any fish or natural object. His stomach churned as the shadow grew more defined, revealing what looked like mechanical components glinting under the sunlight filtering through the water. What the hell is that? Ethan muttered under his breath, his eyes glued to the screen as he tilted his head from side to side, as if that would help him to work out what he was looking at. The shadow moved with purpose, circling the barge before disappearing into the depths near the open spillway grate. Ethan's mind raced with possibilities. Was it some kind of underwater drone? A piece of machinery, or something else entirely? It didn't matter which way he looked at it, he couldn't figure out what it was. He just had a feeling in his gut that it shouldn't be there, though. Ethan's initial excitement had turned to dread. He decided it was time to notify the authorities. There was no such thing as overreacting when it came to something like this. If something happened to the dam, it would be a disaster. If something caused damage to the dam, then huge amounts of water, sediment, and debris would flood the rivers and ecosystems downstream. Switching the drone to hover mode, he grabbed his phone and dialed the local ranger station. As the call connected, Ethan kept an eye on the live feed. The shadow had vanished, but the image of its sleek, mechanical form was burned into his mind. This is Officer Bradshaw speaking. A gruff voice answered. Ethan quickly explained what he'd seen. The abandoned barge, the strange crates, the loose spillway grate, and the shadowy figure under the water. Bradshaw listened intently, his tone growing more serious with every detail. By the end of Ethan's account, the officer had, too, grown concerned about what the man and his drone might have stumbled upon. All right, stay put, the ranger said. I'll dispatch a team to check it out. But I need you to stay safe and keep your drone airborne if possible. Keep an eye on things and let us know if anything changes. Ethan agreed, his heart pounding as he ended the call. A small part of him had thought that he might have been overreacting, that the ranger would know all about the dam, but the fact that he'd seemed highly concerned and was sending a team out made Ethan panic even more. He brought the drone back to the barge, scanning for any signs of movement. The water was still now, its surface reflecting the sky like a mirror, but the silence felt ominous, as if something was waiting just beneath the surface. He willed the ranger's team to hurry to his location just so he didn't feel like he was dealing with this thing, whatever it was, all alone. As the minutes dragged on, Ethan spotted a park ranger's truck pulling into the viewpoint parking lot. Two rangers stepped out, armed with binoculars and radios. He waved them over and showed them the live feed from his drone. The rangers exchanged concerned glances as they watched the footage. They looked at one another, but neither seemed to have any answers as to what they were looking at. We'll need to get a closer look, one of them said. They decided to launch a small boat from a nearby dock to investigate the barge. Ethan offered to keep his drone in the air to provide a bird's eye view while they approached. That way, all angles were covered and everyone could be as safe as possible, or so he hoped. The ranger's boat cut through the water, drawing closer to the barge. Ethan's drone captured every moment, the camera following their progress. 
As they reached the barge, one ranger secured the boat while the other climbed aboard. Ethan watched as the ranger examined the crates, his movement cautious. Suddenly, the ranger froze and then gestured frantically to his partner. Ethan knew instantly that the ranger had seen something concerning. What's going on? Ethan muttered, tilting the drone's camera for a better angle. The ranger on the barge appeared to be shouting something, but the sound didn't carry over the distance. Moments later, he pried open one of the crates, revealing its contents. It was something that Ethan couldn't have even imagined. When he'd set out that morning, he'd imagined a nice, relaxing day. Not this. His jaw dropped as the clear image on his tablet left little doubt over what the rangers had discovered. The crate was filled with explosives, industrial-grade charges with timers attached. His breath came in short, sharp bursts as the panic set in. The realization of what was in the crates hit him like a freight train. Someone had planted explosives on the barge, and they were dangerously close to the dam. The rangers sprang into action, radioing for backup and evacuating the area near the dam. Ethan's hands trembled as he kept the drone focused on the scene. His mind reeled with questions. Who would do this and why? As if in answer, the shadow reappeared in the water, this time moving toward the ranger's boat. Ethan's heart pounded as he adjusted the drone's altitude for a better view. The mechanical form surfaced briefly, revealing what looked like a sleek underwater robot equipped with manipulators. It dove again, heading straight for the barge. Suddenly it dawned on Ethan exactly what it was, an underwater drone, which meant there was someone nearby controlling it, watching all of this unfold. A shiver went down his spine. There was a good chance that whoever was controlling the underwater drone had seen Ethan flying his machine around too. He felt very uneasy at the thought he had been watched, especially by someone willing to cause such destruction. Watch out! Ethan shouted instinctively, though he knew they couldn't hear him. The rangers seemed to notice the disturbance in the water, their heads snapping toward the ripples. One of them grabbed a pole from the boat and began prodding the water near the barge, trying to ward off the approaching machine. Before the underwater drone could reach the barge, it suddenly veered away, disappearing into the depths once more. Ethan exhaled shakily, his pulse racing. Moments later, a larger team of emergency responders arrived, including bomb disposal experts and divers. The area was cordoned off, and the situation became a coordinated effort to neutralize the threat. Ethan desperately wanted to tell them that whoever was responsible for this had to be close by, and they should also deploy a team to look for that person. But he was too far away to relay the message. Ethan landed his drone to conserve its battery, but he stayed at the viewpoint, watching the operation unfold. Thankfully, it seemed like one of the divers instantly recognized the machine, and a small group of rangers went off in another direction, no doubt in search of the person who had been controlling it. Hours passed as the responders worked to safely remove the explosives and disable the underwater drone. By the time the sun began to set, the immediate danger had been neutralized, but many questions remained unanswered. Later that evening, Ethan was approached by Officer Bradshaw, who thanked him for his vigilance. You may have saved the dam and a lot of lives today, the ranger said. We still don't know who's behind this or what they were planning but we'll get to the bottom of it. He asked Ethan to send over a copy of the footage for analysis. There was a chance it might contain something that they'd missed, and Officer Bradshaw was keen to not leave any stone unturned in this case. Ethan nodded, the weight of the day's events settling heavily on his shoulders. As he packed up his equipment and prepared to leave, he glanced back at the dam one last time. The massive structure stood strong, its imposing presence a reminder of both its power and its vulnerability. Ethan knew he would never look at it or his drone the same way again. How would he even begin to explain to his wife what he'd been a part of? The silly hobby had led to something important. His drone footage was vital to the investigation. He didn't even like to think about what would have happened had he not been flying his drone over the dam at the exact moment he had. Ethan glanced at the drone one last time, realizing that the hefty price tag had been a small price to pay for the lives it might have just saved. Driving home in the fading light, Ethan replayed the day's events in his mind. 
The mystery of the barge, the explosives, and the strange underwater drone would likely haunt him for a long time, or at least until Officer Bradshaw had more answers. But one thing was certain. His decision to fly his drone over the dam that morning had made all the difference. If he hadn't made the shocking discovery, when he had, there would likely have been a major catastrophe. He just hoped that Officer Bradshaw and his team caught whoever was responsible before another incident occurred where luck wasn't on their side. Now, it's over to you. What do you think of this story? Do you know any stories where dams have broken? We'd love to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.